seven on seven passing on tournament happening Saturday. How did yeah. you start this thing and why? Well, through my career, I've been all over the place, da Dallas, Atlanta, Virginia, I mean, all these places, and most of them were down south. And what I noticed is football, especially high school football, was at a whole different level. Yes. And when it comes to, you know, kids had dreams just like I did coming from Sturgeon Bay. I wanted to play, you know, in the National Football League, wanted to play college football. These kids had so many more opportunities mm -hmm. than kids up here in northeast Wisconsin. And one of those things was seven on seven, okay. which is really a passing drill where you take the linemen out and it's just you know it's like it's going, fun to watch. It's yes. like it's like going in the backyard. Yep. You know where you know you always have a quarterback, you have receivers, defensive backs, and this this is an opportunity for teams to build uh, camaraderie together, compete against other teams because you can't get that in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. You know you can't compete against other teams. You have to wait until the fall. So this is a great opportunity to kind of catch up with those um, those teams down south a little bit, and it's really kind of been showing the fruits. You know last year we had James Morgan, Alec Engel, yes. Player of the Year, Charlie Rotherham going down. You know all these kids played in the. These, uh, these, these well, a couple of years ago when I helped out at this camp, you had four of the guys, I think, are Division I. And the, the young man from Southern Door who had a heck of an arm who was going someplace, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah he, he's going someplace. I don't know. Andrew Thompson, who ended up winning it, he's playing at lacrosse. From now, Hortonville? From Hortonville. So, I mean, it, it's, it's just giving these kids an opportunity to let them – Taste a little bit of the things I was blessed to see, mm -hmm. you know, when I was, uh, you know, playing in college and then in the NFL. And believe me, from all the years I've watched high school football, mm -hmm. you can't believe how much better the quarterbacks have gotten over the last 15 well, or even 10 years. Well, and, and I think that's a part of, you know, giving more opportunities like mm -hmm. this or going to more camps and all that kind of stuff. Right, just like playing year round or something like that. That always helps them, advances yep. them. Well, yeah, you know, and you, you certainly want to play other sports, but mm -hmm. certainly in the summer, you're getting ready for football. Yeah. Hey, let's throw the ball around and yep. do it Perfect with our teammates. Perfect timing. Yeah. All right, good idea. You got round robin and then single elimination after that yeah so it starts at nine o'clock we're at notre dame academy mm -hmm. uh, and then the tournament starts then what's really cool is we have at our halftime in between the pool play and the tournament play we have full concessions but we have a halftime game with eighth graders from alloway buccaneers oh, cool. and the st phillips team awesome. so they're coming to play a little bit so just kind of get a taste in their mouth for for those young kids. Do you want me to come out and give the kids any tips on quarterbacking? <laughs> Please do, okay. but, but it's passing. It's not, not run the old option. No, not no. run the wishbone. Okay. So you're not going to be able to help them, I know. Yeah. Sorry. All right, thanks so much, Chris. We appreciate Thank it. You. That 7-on-7 seven seven tourney takes place Saturday at Notre Dame Academy in Green Bay. It'll be round robin and then single elimination. Tickets are available at the gate. And something really cool about this event, the proceeds there, they help the less fortunate in our area, helping out some good nonprofits. So for more information, just head over to our website, NBC26.com. If you like